When we are dividing a smaller number by a larger number, we know that this will involve decimals. We set up our division like this. The first number is called the dividend and goes here. The second number that is being divided into it is called the divisor and goes here. Our answer goes on top and it is called the quotient. In this case, 88 is our dividend, so we write it inside. 160 is the divisor, we write it in here, and we will write our answer, the quotient, up here on top. The first thing we have to do is look for the decimal in our divisor. The decimal comes after 160, which means the decimal is in the right place. We want the decimal on the right side of the number. Because the decimal is in the right place here, we don't have to move the decimal inside in the dividend, so we can write it. And then after it, we write some zeros, as many zeros as we want. The decimal in the quotient will go right above the decimal in the dividend. Then we ask ourselves the question, does 160 fit into 8? No. Does 160 fit into 88? No. Does 160 fit into 880? Yes. It will fit into 880 five times with some left over. The last digit in the 880 that I'm using is this zero, so my answer to the five gets written right above that zero. And I write a zero here. Five times 160 is 800. I write it there and I subtract. 880 minus 800 is 80. This number has to be smaller than our divisor or else we have made a mistake. And that would mean we would have to make this number larger. But 80 is smaller than 160, so this time we are okay. I know that 160 will not fit into 80, so I need another zero. I take one of these zeros and I slide it down into this position, and then I ask myself the question. Does 160 fit into 800? Yes. It fits into 800 five times. I write the 5 here, 5 times 160 is 800, and I subtract again. 800 minus 800 is 0, which tells me that I am finished. And that means that the answer to the division 88 divided by 160 is 0 0.55. In this example, my dividend has a decimal in it already. 8.5 divided by 20. But I set up my division in the same way. 8.5 is the dividend, so it goes here. 20 is the divisor, it goes here. And my answer, the quotient, will go on top. The first thing I do is I check to make sure the decimal is in the right place in my divisor. The decimal is after the 0 and 20. That means it's in the right place, so I don't have to move the decimal in the dividend. The answer's decimal will therefore appear right above the decimal in the dividend. I also put as many zeros as I want after. And I ask myself the question, does 20 fit into 8? No. Does 20 fit into 85? Yes. Four times with some left over. I write the 4 here, I have to write a 0 here, and 4 times 20 is 80. I write 80 and I subtract. 85 minus 80 is 5, and this number has to be smaller than my divisor. It is, so I can continue. I already know that 20 will not fit into 5, so I have to bring down another 0. I slide one of these zeros down, and this is now a 50. And I ask, does 20 fit into 50? Yes, twice with some left over. 2 times 20 is 40, so I write 40 here, and I write the 2 here. I subtract, and I get 10. Again, 10 is smaller than 20, so I chose the right number. 20 will not fit into 10, so I have to slide down another 0. And now I have 100 down here. 20 does fit into 100 five times 
I write the 5 here. 5 times 20 is 100. I subtract and I get 0, which means that I am finished. This means that the answer to 8.5 divided by 20 is 0 0.425. In this example, it is the divisor, the 2.5, that has a decimal already in it. And again, I set up my division in the same way. The dividend is the 12, and it goes here. The divisor is the 2.5 and goes here. And the answer, my quotient, will go up on top. When I start, I realize that the decimal is not in the right place in the divisor this time. I want the decimal all the way on to the right. So I have to move it this time one space to the right. So the decimal is now there. If I'm moving the decimal one space to the right in the divisor though, I also have to do the same thing to the dividend. The decimal was here. So I must move it one space to the right, and now it's going to be here. Now I'm set up to do my division, and it looks now that I'm dividing 120 divided by 25, which is equivalent to this division. I put extra zeros, as many of them as I want, to the right of the decimal in my dividend, and the new position of the decimal in the dividend, I put the decimal in the quotient right above that. I ask myself the question, does 25 fit into 1? No. Does 25 fit into 12? No. Does 25 fit into 120? Yes. Four times with some left over. So I put the 4 here. 4 times 25 is 100. I write that here. And I have to subtract. 120 minus 100 is 20. And this number has to be smaller than my divisor. It is. Therefore, 25 will not fit into 20. I already know that. I have to make this number bigger. I have to slide one of these zeros down. And I ask, does 25 fit into 200? Yes, exactly 8 times. I write the 8 here. 8 times 25 is 200. I subtract. And I get 0, which means I am finished. Therefore, the answer to 12 divided by 2.5 is 4.8. In this example, both the dividend and the divisor have decimals, but I set it up the same way. And my first question is, is the decimal in the right place in my divisor? No, it's not. I want the decimal to the right of the numbers, so I have to move it two spaces to the right. Which means that I'm moving this decimal two spaces to the right. It goes past the 1, and I'm forced to put a 0 for it to go past, to go two spaces to the right. That means my decimal is up here in my quotient, and I draw some extra zeros, as many as I want. I'm now dividing 1,210 by 55. To start, does 55 fit into 1? No. Does 55 fit into 12? No. Does 55 fit into 121? Yes. Twice with some left over. So since the last digit in 121 is this 1, my 2 goes right above it. 2 times 55 is 110, so I write 110, and I subtract. 121 minus 110 gives 11. 11 is smaller than 55, so I'm good. Does 55 fit into 11? No. I'm going to have to slide one of these zeros down and turn my 11 into 110. Does 55 fit into 110? Yes, twice exactly. So right here above that 0, I put a 2. 2 times 55 is 110. I subtract and I get 0, so I know I am finished. This means the answer to 12.1 divided by 0.55 is equal to 22.